This is a demonstration showing how to do batch geocoding in Excel with unstructured columns. We're going to do this with a product called Locate Excel, available from Prime Thought Software Solutions. First, make sure that you've installed Locate Excel and Spatial Excel and license both of them correctly. How to do this is explained in an instruction video, also available on YouTube. Then we're going to load our Geoco data file. You'll receive this file when you purchase the product from PrimeThought. Map IT, our mapping partners, assist us with her information, as well as another vendor who provides postal codes for us. We're currently loading the streets of South Africa. All the Geoco data has now been loaded so we can start the geocoding process. Next we are going to choose our address columns. Because this is unstructured geocoding, you simply choose them one after the other. This checkbox has to be unchecked for unstructured geocoding to work. Now we can geocode our records. As a quick test, we can select a few records and say so locate selected and it will immediately locate these records. We can also go and say locate all and here it shows the state of how quickly the geocoding is happening right now. The geocoding of my records are now complete and I can look at my results by going through and seeing how they match up and they look pretty good. In the data you will see the geocode status, N means street number that it geocoded to, S is for street, this is a postal code match, as you can see over here. The codes are fully explained in the help documentation under the settings. We can also add this data to a map. To do that, I'd like to open Spatial Excel. I'd like to make sure that my projection is set to GCS WGS84. If it isn't, just double click on this area and in this drop down you can select the correct projection, click use and OK and that will be set to the right projection. I also would like to add a sub layer and add Bing Maps as a background for my data. And there's my Bing Maps. Now I can simply right click on my spreadsheet, go to the Spatial Excel menu, Add Layer, and it'll bring up some default settings. I will accept them as they are. And if I look at my map now, it's added all of my data to my map, my South African map in Bing Maps. For more information on what you can do on the mapping side, please look at the Spatial Excel videos and Spatial Excel help documentation. Thank you very much.